Flight 8 launch date has been changed, resulting in a slight delay compared to the original schedule. Can you provide the revised launch date and the factors that led to the delay? Meanwhile, SpaceX continues to push the envelope, achieving major milestones with the Falcon and Starlink rockets, further strengthening its lead in the aerospace sector. In contrast, the James Webb Space Telescope is currently facing the threat of a substantial budget cut. What are the implications for the future of space exploration? Let's discuss more in today's episode of NR Studio. Just a few days ago, the imminence of Flight 8 was unthinkable, but now the excitement surrounding its upcoming launch has reached unprecedented levels. The latest communique, specifically from the FAA, had initially set February 26th as the prime launch date. Despite the earlier update, many had pinned their hopes on the Wednesday afternoon launch. However, a slight delay has necessitated an extension of our lead time. As per the latest communique from SpaceX CEO Elon Musk, the flight is now scheduled for Friday the 28th. Within the previously established contingency window, just two days later than originally scheduled. The FAA's previous notum indicated the launch window would begin at 5.30 p.m. Central Time, and it's unlikely that this updated date will affect that schedule. This suggests that the carefully orchestrated viewing conditions will remain constant, giving us an optimal vantage point to observe both stages as they attempt to land. What caused the two-day delay in launch? The most likely explanation seems to be related to progress in Starship hardware preparation. Currently, both stages, S3 and B15, remain at the production facility. For S3, the final installation, which includes the flight termination system, is currently nearing completion. Furthermore, the payload dispenser and simulated Starlink satellite appear to be undergoing installation. In contrast, the circumstances surrounding B-15 have presented a higher degree of uncertainty. The hot staging ring, which was reportedly delivered to Mega Bay 1 and supposedly installed on the 19th, was unexpectedly returned to the Star Factory on the morning of the 21st. Then on the 23rd, it returned to Mega Bay, only to be delivered to the Star Factory a few hours later. The oscillating motion suggests that the installation is still in its early stages and not yet final. In the meantime, the FTS system is positioned at the launch site, presumably poised for subsequent installation. Given these updates, it is evident that the Starship stages are not yet prepared for integration testing at the launch site. Subsequent to this testing phase, further evaluations must be undertaken prior to the vehicle receiving clearance for launch. In light of the outstanding tasks at hand, a brief postponement appears essential to afford SpaceX the requisite time to finalize all necessary preparations. As efforts persist on S3 and B-15, SpaceX is achieving noteworthy advancements in other systems. The launch infrastructure is subject to ongoing testing, wherein the chopstick mechanism is undergoing comprehensive assessments involving rigorous cycles of lifting, lowering, opening, and closing to ensure its optimal functionality. Supplementary cladding has been implemented, and pumps for the tank farm system are being introduced to enhance the fuel loading infrastructure. All evidence suggests a consistent progression towards achieving launch readiness. Beyond SpaceX, various agencies are likewise engaged in their concluding preparations. Cameron County has disseminated road closure notices pertaining to flight activity on the 28th, in conjunction with the revised launch date. Supplementary notes have been disseminated, outlining the specified landing zone for vessels within the Indian Ocean, alongside the issuance of pertinent navigational warnings. Observation vessels have been routinely departing from the harbor, poised to monitor and facilitate the mission. Notwithstanding the minor postponement, the enthusiasm surrounding this launch endures robustly, and it is exhilarating to witness its occurrence on the concluding day of February. This decisive move by SpaceX heralds an ambitious year on the horizon, characterized by a flurry of swift launches and ongoing advancements. Should Flight 8 take to the skies on the 28th, it will signify a remarkable turnaround of merely three days since Flight 7, showcasing an impressive augmentation in launch frequency. The postponement may evoke disappointment for certain individuals. However, the eventual outcome will justify the wait. The various elements are aligning, propelling SpaceX closer to yet another significant milestone in its audacious Starship initiative. Should you remain equally eager for this launch, kindly express your interest by responding. I remain in anticipation. Furthermore, we encourage you to express your appreciation for this video through a like. 
and consider subscribing to our channel to remain informed about SpaceX's groundbreaking advancements in the realm of spaceflight. Having concluded the latest updates on Starship, let us redirect our attention to the remarkable milestones attained by SpaceX's other systems, namely Falcon 9 and Starlink. On February 21st, SpaceX attained another notable milestone with the Falcon rocket. At exactly 10.19 a.m. Eastern, a Falcon 9 rocket ascended from SLC-0, delivering another payload of satellites into orbit. However, the true focal point of this mission was its booster, B-1076, which marked an impressive milestone with its 21st successful landing. This event signifies the 99th triumphant touchdown on the Gravitas drone ship, elevating SpaceX's cumulative booster landings to a remarkable total of 11. Nonetheless, the most significant achievement of the day transcended the mere administration of a single booster. The discussion pertained to the complete Falcon fleet. This mission signified the 50th flight within the Falcon rocket family, comprising 39 Falcon 9 launches and 11 Falcon Heavy launches. This moment was greeted with widespread enthusiasm throughout the space community. SpaceX marked the occasion on X with a succinct yet impactful declaration. Falcon successfully accomplishes its 50th mission. Concurrently, Musk underscored this milestone through his personal communique, highlighting a total of 50 Falcon flights. This milestone serves as yet another affirmation of Falcon's preeminence within the industry. SpaceX consistently establishes the benchmark, advancing significantly beyond its rivals, with China positioned second in terms of total launches. Through its high-frequency launch capabilities, SpaceX has developed the Falcon rocket family, which has created a dependable and economically efficient launch system that offers unparalleled flexibility. Through its strategic pricing and unmatched launch frequency, SpaceX has established a significant disparity between its technological advancements and those of competing launch providers, and they are merely at the beginning of their journey. SpaceX has established an audacious objective of achieving 180 Falcon launches within the current year. Should they maintain their current trajectory, the company is poised to potentially achieve a remarkable milestone of 500 or even 600 total Falcon launches, thereby cementing its historical significance. The accelerating frequency of launches not only enhances the accumulation of records, but also facilitates the reusability of boosters, thereby further demonstrating the cost efficiency and sustainability of the Falcon fleet. Undoubtedly, one of the most significant beneficiaries of the ongoing success of Falcon 9 is Starlink. The predominant purpose of Falcon launches is to deploy these satellites, thereby enhancing the coverage and capabilities of SpaceX's satellite internet infrastructure. Merely a day following Falcon's landmark 50th mission, SpaceX successfully deployed an additional array of Starlink satellites. At 8.38 p.m. Eastern on the 22nd, a Falcon 9 rocket successfully ascended from SLCE in California. The booster for this mission, B-1082, has successfully executed its 11th landing. This marks the 121st triumphant touchdown on the esteemed Of Course I Still Love You drone ship, contributing to SpaceX's 12th overall Falcon booster landing. This launch successfully deployed an additional 22 Starlink satellites into orbit. SpaceX has successfully accomplished yet another significant milestone. To date, more than 8,000 Starlink satellites have been successfully launched. Despite the deorbiting or failure of certain satellites, the current tally of operational satellites in orbit exceeds 7,000. Given the company's accelerated launch timeline, it is only a matter of time before Starlink attains a significant benchmark of 8,000 operational satellites in orbit. Starlink is quickly becoming a dominant force in low-Earth orbit, revolutionizing global connectivity. It provides high-speed, low-latency internet access to customers worldwide, including remote areas where traditional systems fail to reach. Additionally, Starlink has proven itself invaluable in emergency situations, such as natural disasters and wartime operations. Its effectiveness was demonstrated last year during Hurricanes Milton and Helen, where it played a crucial role in restoring communication for affected regions. Beyond Earth, Starlink is also set to play a major role in supporting future space missions, as evidenced by its planned use in the upcoming Polaris Dawn mission. Show your support by commenting, let's go Space Essex, and stay tuned for even more groundbreaking achievements in the near future. And now for our final update of this episode, the James Webb Space Telescope has been in operation for four years, originally launched in 2021, 
solidifying its place as the most important observatory for space exploration. Its innovative discoveries have revolutionized our understanding of the universe. But despite its success, it may now be facing a substantial budget cut, potentially up to 20% of its current funding. This concerning development was recently revealed by the telescope's overseeing team, who stated that NASA has directed them to reduce operational costs, even as demand for observations continues to rise. At the 245th American Astronomical Society meeting in National Harbor, Maryland, Tom Brown, leader of the Webb Mission Office at the Space Telescope Science Institute, addressed these looming financial challenges. He stated, NASA is having budget constraints across the entire board, so the Institute is being asked to consider a significant, about 20% cut to our operational budget for the mission starting later this year. So the impacts of that, if it comes to pass, pretty much cut across the entire mission. This year, NASA has allocated $317 million for the combined operations of James Webb, Hubble, and Chandra telescopes. However, these budget reductions are not exclusive to Webb. Hubble is also facing funding constraints, while the Chandra X-ray Observatory appears to be approaching the end of its mission. Future cuts could become even more drastic, with Chandra's budget expected to drop to $41.1 million this year and potentially plummet to just $5.2 million by 2029. Brown, speaking at another conference, expressed deep concerns about the situation. Frankly, this mission works far better than really most folks expected to, you know. It's extremely worrisome that, while we're in the middle of the prime mission, we're also maybe looking at significant budget cuts, he said. He stressed that these are not trivial cuts, but rather significant financial blows that could affect every aspect of Webb's operations, saying, these are substantial cuts. They're not just an attempt to trim the edges. They affect everything in a comprehensive way, even down to the number of modes we provide to observers. While cost-cutting measures are often important to reduce unnecessary spending, any decision to reduce funding for James Webb at this time requires careful examination. Unlike the Hubble Space Telescope, which has been operating for 35 years, the James Webb Space Telescope is still in tip-top shape continuing to provide deep insights into the cosmos. What do you think about the proposed budget cuts? Do you think these cuts are necessary? Or should NASA focus on ensuring full funding for the James Webb project? That's it for today's episode. See you next episode.